hello students i hope you're doing great so in this video we are going to do work on oxford countdown book 5 third edition so now let's get started our our chapter our chapter is geometry exercises exercise 7a and the page is page 121 and our question is question number 8 so now let's get started draw this reflex angle with the help of our protector so you got to draw a reflex angle yes so you got to draw a reflex angle i hope you know how to draw a reflex angle you can draw it as you like you can draw it like this like this like however you like so yes now let's see our part a reflex pqr and then 320 degree so we have to make an angle of 320 degree but there is a problem in a d scale let me show you this is not 320 degree it's only finished on 180 so what are we going to do is we are going to subtract it from 360 because an reflex angle is an angle any angle but it is greater than 180 but less than 360 okay that's why we are going to subtract it from 360 let me show you how to draw an angle first you put as how you like i like to put on the top way you can put it down a right way as, as you like okay there you go we draw our angle now we are going to subtract it 360 is bigger than 320 that's why we are going to Put three twenty down, okay. Subtracted zero here because zero zero are zero, so we can minus six from two. Now let's do it one, two, three, four, five, and six. Cut two, one, two, three, four. So four again. You know three three is zero, but this is our answer. We are not going to use zero, okay. That's why we remove it. And what does it look like? Let's see. Do we have forty? and the answer is yes right here let me take it a little more closer right here now let's draw an angle of it we are going to put it on this line and also put a dot to tell you a little more better like this we draw our dot sometimes people draw this line a little too big so they what they do they keep it so long but no as where the dot is you got to draw only that much it will looks like that it's another angle not the angle that we are drawing okay now we are going to put our arrows right here we are going to put 40 in it only one difference you put this inner circle that you put here right out here okay i can also color it for you so you can see a little better then what else you can do this is important p q r you got to write it you can write anywhere you want to write p you can write anywhere you are like to write q i'm just writing like this okay got it let's go to our second part which is b reflex w x y then 290 okay what you got to do is this angle you got to first see your d scale it does it as 290 no So what are we going to do? Is we are going to again subtract three sixty from two ninety, okay? And let me tell you why there is no two ninety because our D scale finish on one eighty. Let me show you now. Again, you draw and line as however you like. Then you subtract it. Three sixty is you know. Bigger than two ninety, so that's why we're doing it like this. Then you subtract it. Zero zero are zero. You cannot subtract six from nine. That's why we're going to take a help from three. Two is here. Sixteen is here. Subtract it. Okay. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen. Cut nine. One two three four five six. Seven, eight, nine. How many we left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that means we are going to draw an angle of seventy. Okay. Now let's see. Do our angle has seventy? I mean, D scale. Yes, it do right here. 
you see it's 70 put your d scale right here and put a dot right there then draw a line of it okay this is how you do it and again you just put inside degrees put this line here if you want to color it you're going to color it w x y because it's said here okay done so now let's do our third part now let's do our third part which is part c i'm using another page to do the part c so in this one there is 335 degree let's see our angle i mean the scale it finished on 180 what are we going to do is we are going to subtract it from 360. i tell you one thing all of these angles are subtracted from 360 okay so now let's do it and if you wanted to you know save a little time you can draw both angles on the one time like you can draw this angle right here and draw the other angle this line too at the same time now let's do it three 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 five from 360 is it still small yes it is that's why i'm going to put it 360 up and 335 down i'm going to subtract it what do we get so we cannot minus 5 from 0 what are we going to do take a help from 6 6 left 5 here and 10 here so you know 10 minus 5 is 10 i mean 5 let me show you 2 1 2 3 i'm sorry 4 5 6 7 8 9 cut how many 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 how many left 1 2 3 4 I'm sorry, I not draw a line here and five. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I do not draw. Now it's ten. You see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I cut five. That's why there's still five. Okay. So five comes here. Five. Now we're going to minus five from three. Yes, we can minus it. One, two, three, four, and five. Cut three. How many we have? Two. And then zero here. So two, five degree we are going to do. Let's see. So in our D scale we not have two, five, but we have 20. We are going to count five lines. So two, five comes right here. Okay. Let me show you. Isn't making angles easy? If it's hard, you can try it again. I hope you can do it. Because these are so easy angles. So let's do a little bit. There you go. This is 250 degree angle. I mean 25 degree angle, 25. Now you put these arrows. There is C, B, E. Let's put them C. Oh, I'm sorry. We gotta put this man right here too. <laughs> C, B, and E. There you go. We got this angle. Now the last, for at least, mm -hmm. reflex angle, and our part is D, A, B, C. <laughs> so what are we going to do? Is we're going to check our D scale. Does it has two hundred degree? No, it doesn't. It has only one hundred. So what are we going to do? Is we are going to again subtract it from three sixty. Let me show you how. like this okay so what are we going to do is zero zero is zero six zero is six because if there was a number down then we're going to subtract it but there's zero and three minus two one two three minus two one so 160 do we have 160 in a d scale let's see and i think we do where is it right here we are going to draw an angle of it and dot is going to be right here because the 160 was there use your and I mean scale to draw it and done 
put your angle in it if you want to color it you can color it put your degree there and it has a b c so we're gonna write a b c okay so this is how we do this question question number eight i will do all of these questions in other parts so yes this is for today and i hope you like my video please like and subscribe to my channel bye see you next